going on, fellas? Yo, Richie, what are you doing? I thought you wanted me to be you. Nah, I just told you to introduce yourself, man. All right, all right, all right. What's go what up, fellas? It's your boy, Johnny. Thanks for the help, Richie. And I apologize in advance. My voice is a little distressed. Your boy got sick. But I did get my hands on the Richie Lee Winter Collection a little early. And so today, I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts. So let's hop right into it. We're going to start with the Trekker Cargos. So they're dropping two colorways, one in an olive and one in a black. So with the black one, this is more of a washed black. It's not a pure black. With the olive, we know Richie Lee loves olive. So of course he had to come out with this, but this olive is very subtle. It's more on the gray side. It's a very neutral color. And let me tell you fellas something, cargos are my thing. And these ones in particular really stand out. So from the shape of the cargo pockets itself to the metal tip drawstrings, these have a unique look and I absolutely love these. And as far as how it fits, it fits pretty slim, almost skinny. And another thing that makes these cargos stand out is, is that you can adjust the cuff on the bottom. So if you want a more tapered or a little bit more baggy, you can just unzip it or zip it up. Now I do, however, wish it was a little bit more tapered on the ankle, but that's just my personal preference. Baggy look is cool too. And for the record, I'm 5'7", I weigh 155 pounds, and I wear a size small. All right, next up, fellas, let's talk about them flannels. So for this drop, Richie and Tan are dropping four colorways of the Flannel Boys flannel. Man, I'm so sick, I'm starting to have a lisp. So I'm not the biggest flannel guy because in New York, it gets way too cold, way too fast, and you can only layer so much with flannels. But if it's warm enough, I'm with it. So we got four colorways this time. Two of them are very similar to the ones in the past. We got the mustard yellow, we got the green and cream mix from before, also a black and white one, and the last one is a unique dark flannel. I haven't really seen this pattern before. It's got some purple, it's got some red, it's got some blue, and a little bit of green. It's a dope blend of colors and it works really well. So for the fit of these, these are a standard fit, not a drop shoulder. And the reason why I love flannels is it's the best layering piece. For fall and winter, it adds that pop of color. It looks great over a hoodie or over a tank top. You can just tell that there was a lot of hard work put into these flannels. They are a bit thinner than the flannels that I have, but I wear a size medium with these. These are dope. Speaking of hoodies, they are also dropping hoodies. Now, hoodies are my staple, my favorite, the clothing item that every fella needs in his wardrobe. It's the first basic that you should gravitate towards whenever it comes to layering. For those of you guys that skate or used to skate, it's like mastering the ollie, bro. You can't expect to land a tray flip if you don't even know how to ollie in the first place. Just like you need a hoodie to create some fire outfits. And don't you see I can't skate, bro. I can land trays all day, bruh. Now I like these hoodies because they stand out from your standard hoodie. They skipped the drawstring, they added the kangaroo pouch, and they have pockets on the side. It's a unique look. This time they're dropping five colorways. They got the olive, they got the wash black, light cream, stone blue, and your standard gray hoodie. And these ones are now my favorite hoodie. I did cop this hoodie from All Saints. I'm gonna be honest, it was too much for a hoodie, but for the quality I got, the fit that I got, I think it was worth it. But the ones that Richie and Tan are dropping have all of that without being expensive. Now I'm rocking a medium hoodie, and for me, it's not too droopy, it's not too tight. It's perfect for wearing individually or layering with a flannel or a jacket. Next up, we have the Varsity Shorts. Now these aren't what I typically wear, but they're definitely growing on me. And that's how you level up your style, bro. You gotta step out of your comfort zone. And let me tell you right now, bro, I know it gets kind of annoying when people say, oh, this is high quality. Like, what does that actually mean? But I'm telling you right now, man, this is actually high quality. Trust me, man, I've had legit jerseys. I've had jerseys from my college days, and these feel even better than that. And what's so dope about these Varsity Shorts is you can wear them outside of the court because they have subtle details like these thick drawstrings and a unique cut. I'm wearing a size small and if you guys cop these, I promise you guys you will be able to tell that this is made of super high quality materials and I hope you guys enjoy. And last but not least are the varsity jackets. Now fortunately, I got my hands on the red ones and bro, this is by far my favorite item in the collection. And as you guys can see, I have this black one from Zara and nope, this shit is thin, this shit is whack. It sucks. I paid 70 bucks for that bullshit because I didn't know any better. These ones though, they might be a bit more pricey, but it is definitely worth it for the materials and how long it's gonna last. This shit, I feel like So this is made out of a thick wool material with a satin lining. Bro, just look at the inside of this jacket, man. I'm telling you. It's dope. The fit is true to size. I'm wearing a medium. And it's just the subtle details, man, that I really love. The varsity stripes are cream. We got two inside pockets on this jacket. And these ones don't have the white stripes on the shoulders, but I think it's totally cool. Especially on the red one, because I think it'll be a little too much. But I couldn't be more happy with getting this jacket. I know it's super limited, so make sure you guys get on the website super early. And if I were you guys, I would try and cop these ones first. So all these pieces are dropping tomorrow, January 4th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. For my New Yorkers, that is 11 a.m. Make sure you guys are 
are ready to cop. And once again, I want to thank Tan and Richie for dropping these dope pieces and putting in the work, man. I know this shit is tough, man. And for me, I'd rather support the YouTubers that have influenced me, and you guys should too. So if you guys found this video helpful or informative, let me know by hitting the like button. Go and follow me on Instagram. It is Fly with Johnny Ty. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and leave your comments down below on the next type of video you guys want to see. And until then, hopefully my voice still ain't distressed. Make sure you guys check out the Richie Lee collection, and I'm out. Peace.